What's up guys, uh, a bit of a different video today, not your typical here we go sort of high energy intro, there's going to be no edits in this video as well, I just need to talk about my team as a mode, and I'm just going to do it for about 10 minutes, if you want to hear my thoughts on it, keep watching, uh, but yeah, we got to talk, the mode is not in a good place, it's just not in a good place, and I started this year doing a series, um, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun, a day in the life, you know, I was grinding out the game, the videos where we were getting our unlimited ring, just having a lot of fun on the game. And then I went away. I went away for a couple of weeks and it felt like things started to change. Now, I was quite a big advocate for the mode at the start, right? And I'm very aware of how I felt about it. You know, I was really, really high on the gameplay. I know a lot of people weren't. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about the gameplay and the implications it had when those patches kicked in. Um, I was also fine with the player market at the start, but it just hasn't aged well, and it's only been a few weeks, so it's only gonna get worse. And I kinda wanna talk about my team content creation in general, um, just the state of it, and, and the bordering on like non-existent nature of it. It's just weird. But I wanna start with the gameplay. Um, before I say any of this, I should say I am an ex-maker and I'm going to talk a little bit about that, what that involves. I know a lot of people don't really know what it means. Um, 2K have treated me unbelievably well. So this isn't like a direct shot at them. It's just feedback. It's me laying out the issues with this mode. And like I said, 2K have treated me incredibly well. They've given me amazing opportunities. Everyone I've met at 2K has been humble, you know, inviting, respectful. Um, yeah, this isn't a shot at them. This is just the way it is, right? This is just the way it is. These are facts. These are undeniable to me. Um, and, you know, I give them this feedback as well. Everything I'm going to say to you in some way, shape or form, I've given that feedback to them. That is what an next maker is. I don't get paid. You know, it's, it's not uh, people think think of us as shields, whatever. No, our job is to represent the community. And, and we have the choice whether we want to do that or not. You know, and I do. I do it a lot. I don't want to speak for anyone else, but I do it a lot. I do it daily. Uh, I was talking to him yesterday about some of these challenges. So, yeah, this isn't just like me giving you my opinion and, and not feeding back. Because a lot of people say when I give an opinion, why do I not feed back to 2K? I do. Constantly. All the time. Um, and they acknowledge everything I say. Obviously, the people I speak to are not, you know, key decision makers. So, wherever that goes, I don't know. But let's talk about the gameplay first. Because... The gameplay is actually where things started to go wrong. Now, I know when the game dropped, people had issues with how easy the shooting was and all of that stuff, and, and fine. If, if you didn't enjoy it, I understand. But I think we need to be honest about the fact that the, where the gameplay was, certainly compared to now, was just the best thing for the mode. It was accessible. I was jumping on Unlimited with Emeralds, with sapphires i've got videos just go back and watch any of my last sort of three videos and you'll see me getting my unlimited ring running daryl dawkins you know what i mean that's where we were it was fun and it was also hyper accessible to newbies and casuals because the newbie that goes online and hits threes and is enjoying the game um even if they lose they're more likely to load up again because they had some positive experiences in that game and the gameplay patch did two things. So it nerfed shooting massively and it introduced speed ups and everything else. So people are saying it's just because of Zens. I think it's more than that. I think it's more than that, to be honest. But it done a couple of things. The first thing it did is it drove those newbies away. You know, the last few weeks playing Unlimited, I'm just playing the same 10 sweats I was playing last year. It, we're just back to where we were. We bought Unlimited to life and now it's dead again. It's just dead. I'm now waiting to find games and, and all of that stuff. So. It did that, the newbies who were invested are no longer invested. The newbies that were having fun are no longer having fun. And like I said, if you prefer the gameplay the way it is, I understand that. You know, I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm explaining why this was better for the masses. But the second thing that the gameplay did is that Emerald James Harden that I'm cooking with in my last few videos was no longer valid. Because what I was doing with Harden is ISOing, getting open and shooting. And that would negate any sort of tactics that an overpowered card that my opponent had could use. Like, we're now triangle cutting every single possession. Every single possession. We somehow 
took varied gameplay, and again, not perfect, but very accessible gameplay that was fun to play for the masses and turned it into niche gameplay, not for the masses, that now demands cards like Giannis are used. Th that, those emeralds that I was using, they are done. Like you're not loading up and winning games with those cards anymore. You need Giannis, you need Shaq. Not only to score, because that's how everyone chooses to score now, is to send, you know, 99 speed centers on a back cut every possession, but also to get a stop, because you know every defensive possession, someone's gonna send a backdoor cut and you're gonna need to stop it. Perimeter defense isn't a thing anymore. So it changed the whole financial model of the game. It went from running budget cards and running accessible cards and me spending 2000 MT to get a card that I was actually gonna use, whether it was Sapphire Steph or Sapphire Dawkins, or like I said, Emerald Harden, the start of Kobe. These cards were still valid like four weeks into the game, but as soon as that patch dropped, they weren't valid anymore. Now we need the high-end cards. So the gameplay, for me, the biggest is the biggest problem. It just is. I don't enjoy the game. I have not enjoyed a second of the patch. The last time I really played this game, I went 15-0 for Bosch. I didn't upload a video, but I went 15-0 for Bosch. I got it first time. I had a blast. It was actually one of my high, high points because I hadn't felt that rush since the kind of 12-0 days. And that's, you know, what really drives me to play this game. Right now, I, I, I've played 45 minutes in two weeks because I, I just, I can't. I can't play the game for more than half an hour. It just drives me nuts. The constant, like I said, the constant backdoor cuts, just the meta, all the fun has gone from the game. And it's really taken away from pro play as well. The original gameplay led more into the advantages of pro play. You could see it because people were isoing, they were dribbling, they were using pro play animations. Now people are pressing one, button so it's eliminated pro play i just can't play it because it's boring i'm five and i in clutch time i loaded up the other day and five games in i couldn't play the game anymore i physically couldn't play the game anymore i've logged 45 minutes on my team in two weeks i've played 15 hours of f1 manager so that's where we are that's where i am i should say that's where i am you might be in a different place and like i said that's cool if you're enjoying it i'm glad i'm genuinely happy for you the second thing is the player market and the way it's evolved the player market has has just become completely unobtainable that that is the truth that is where we are it is unobtainable you can't get the players you just can't get players when we first started out, you know, you've all seen a video where I basically got Devon Booker no money spent in a few days, right? And, and that was, yeah, absolutely, you could do that. And you could still kind of do it now if you really put your energy in for four or five days, really grind the game out. You can probably go into the player market and pick up a card that you want to use. That's, that's a card. We have 10 spots on our team. Some people run 13 man rotation. If we're going to spend four or five days just generating the MT, and if you play this game casually, really you're talking about two weeks. If you're going to spend a couple of weeks trying to upgrade one position, what is happening to the rest of your team during that time? And the idea of no money spent to me is that if you're spending 15 hours a day playing this game, I don't think that's no money spent. This is a, uh, you're working two full-time jobs. You're doing two shifts at a job for a day. If you look at that as, as, as a salary, you're looking at at least $1,000 a week, right? So I don't consider playing 15 hours a day, no money spent. It's not, because you're giving up the time where you could be earning money to do that, and a lot of money at that. But anyway, the market is, is inaccessible now. Like, I haven't even looked at it for, for like two, three weeks. I haven't looked at it because it, the idea of me ever being in a position without spending money to pick up one of those cards is is just ludicrous. It's not gonna happen. I'm never gonna play the game enough to upgrade one player on my team. I'm never gonna play the game enough to upgrade one player on my team. I run a business, you know, my mom's unwell, I spend time taking care of her. I've, I've got a life, like this isn't, I don't have anything that's like over the top, I just have a normal busy life. like anyone who works or goes to school or whatever. Like I, and I do not have the time to upgrade one player on my team. How am I gonna upgrade 
the whole squad. And then obviously now we've moved on to moments cards and we've seen what happened with Tyrese Maxi, you know, 245k for a moments card. You know, Dwayne Wade wasn't really free either. It just, it's constant, isn't it? It's constant. We had two days to get Tyrese Maxi. Like how, how does anyone do that? If you were at zero MT and you wanted Tyrese Maxi, you had one option which is to buy him with actual money. And it's a moments card. We've never seen this before. It's just got out of hand. And there is no free alternatives. We're getting daily grindable, grindable emeralds. I don't know what's happening, but this is really, really bad. Like this is a bad spot. And the final thing guys, I don't want to just kind of rant about, the final thing I want to talk about is just content creation. Like I have watched my favorite content creators just drop off this game one after the other, after the other, you know? Back in the day, I used to watch JD's streams like all night, like when he went to Twitch, I used to watch him all day. Like, it, the guy doesn't play the game anymore. Like, that's a problem. That's a problem. We've got DBG, who's been basically the figurehead of this community for four or five years. Love him or hate him, that, that's who he's been, but even he's giving up. Do you know how much money he was making off this mode? Like, and it's not just, oh, he's not making good content. There's a couple of people left really. Like, you know, Henry and Ty that's sticking it out. I think Henry's doing incredible things to be honest. And Ty just works hard. But are they being helped? No. What is the content? Like, how do they make content? If I'm saying it's impossible for me to get a player, how much does it cost to make content on the game? We need to create a game that for casuals, for content creators, for whoever, that's just accessible, everything's gate kept. This is, this. if you saw me last year, I lost my mind trying to chase Mike Banton because I won over 800 games online that season and he didn't pop up in the RNG wheel. But yet I feel more gate kept now because I felt like then at least I had a chance. I don't have a chance right now. So I can't, I can't, like, I just can't bring myself to play the mode. We need an overhaul. Everything needs to change. The player market just, the prices need to come down by like 70%. People need to be able to upgrade more than one player if they play this game for a week or two. Like that just has to be the case. That's not optional. It has to happen. We need to look at the gameplay and we need to understand that the vast majority of people playing this game do not want to play a one dimensional gameplay experience and we want to bring pro play back to life like it was at the start of the year and finally we just need to deliver content daily grindable interesting content where people don't have to go into the player market at all we're just in a bad place and for the first time in sort of three or four years i just have no interest in playing the mode and that will change probably because i, I don't think this is sustainable i think something will change but until it does it's not for me in terms of content um, I'm not making my team content because I can't afford to. Um, I think a lot of people feel like that. Um, but I can afford to, I just don't want to spend the money. Um, I work hard for my money and I, I'm not going to sink it into this, especially when the views aren't there, you know? But I, I'm going to go and do what I've always wanted to do as a content creator. So you'll see in the next couple of weeks, but um, I play career modes. I've been playing F1 Manager, like I said. But I'm going to build career modes on like different games. Um, the F1 game, F123, uh, UFC. Um, EAFC and 2K as well. Like my, I'm not done on my 2K journey. I'm going to do a my career series on that. Um, but we're going to have some fun and, and there'll be new content for you guys. But right now, I'm just waiting for things to change.